Welcome back. A 93 year old theater in downtown Coffeyville, Kansas is getting some love after sitting empty for years. News on Six's Matt Ron tells us about a fundraising campaign that hopes to bring it back to life. Yeah, they're all digital now. We'll go digital. Daryl Harbaugh used to run the projector here at the Midland Theater, but ever since it closed its doors in 1998, the building is far from its glory days of silent films and vaudeville acts. Uh, obviously, as you can see, there's been some water damage. Daryl is now the president of the Midland Theater Foundation, and they've recently launched a $3 million capital campaign to bring the Midland back to life. Uh, right now, we are working on the fundraising for the front of the house and the backstage, and we're really close to our goal. The Midland Theater Foundation hopes to not only save this historic building, but to make it a cultural hub in Coffeyville for generations to come. They hope to use the theater as a community center for things like children's theater, TED Talks, and even live music. Any of those events that we can have in our town that are able to, um, you know, enrich our community, our children, I think that that's a huge, a huge piece for us. Foundation Vice President Lisa Sheck says she didn't spend much time at the Midland growing up, but she has a passion to save the building. I have three small children and I want to be able to show them, you know, the history of Coffeyville and, and be able to work on something that can give back to so many other generations. The foundation hopes to have at least part of the building renovated and open in about a year and a half so people can see inside and be inspired to donate so the rest can be done by 2028 for the theater's 100th birthday. When you walk through it, you can just feel the history. We're hoping to restore all of that beauty and all of that glory and get people back in here to use it again. I mean, it is an incredible space. The foundation also hopes this major project acts as a jumping off point to revitalize downtown Coffeyville as well. In Coffeyville, Matt Ron, Oklahoma's own News on 6.